our digital artifact is a music blog featuring up-and-coming musicians in the punk, rock and metal genres through the use of interviews, discover pieces and announcements about their upcoming work. As an aspiring music journalist, I initially began this project to build a portfolio for myself to kickstart my career. However, the choice to focus on up-and-coming musicians specifically was influenced by my observation that these promising artists were part of an underrepresented group with the majority of publications, unsurprisingly, following the successful careers of established artists instead. By moving away from mainstream musicians, I was able to offer something new to my audience while still satisfying their music tastes. Also, noting that many existing publications relied primarily on text-heavy articles with very limited visual stimulation, I decided to incorporate these Zoom interviews to make my blog's content more engaging to viewers. After a lot of experimentation with my many social media platforms, my current prototype is a much more refined version of what I originally started with. Having received countless inquiries, press releases and artist recommendations, I no longer had a need for TikTok, which was originally intended to aid my scouting of up-and-coming musicians. Currently, my blog consists of my website and YouTube channel, which are both used in creating and publishing my original content, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, on which I share my content for engagement, and now my new Redbubble store, where I sell merchandise and raise funds to further invest in my blog. At the time of my very first interview, I had absolutely no formal journalism, education or experience to guide my project. And so, over the course of the project to date, I have implemented a number of changes based on discussions around advice from family, friends and the artists I've worked with, in order to improve my project while maintaining my overall objective. As artist interviews are my primary content type, the most significant changes implemented were related to the audio, visual and structural elements of my interviews. When I began my project, I was only using my MacBook's camera and mic to conduct the interviews but quickly invested in a quality microphone after receiving feedback about the audio from viewers. Before consulting with tech professionals for mic options, I researched the key elements of successful YouTube videos, of which quality audio was consistently ranked high. I've since noticed a massive improvement in my overall interview quality as a result, which has also been recognized by my viewers. These earlier interviews were also filmed against a plain wall which lacked character and reduced the visual appeal of my videos. And so, after further consultations with viewers and watching a number of other publications' interviews, I invested in a backdrop to add a brighter element to the scene. I also made the decision to reformat the layout of my videos from displaying all active screens at once to just the speaker, as this best accommodates the majority of YouTube viewers who use the platform on their phones rather than a larger screen. The changing speaker view also adds greater variation to the visuals, which keeps viewers more engaged. Finally, the last major change was to my interview structure. While originally intended to be fun, laid back and conversational, I noticed, largely due to my initial inexperience and discomfort in front of the camera, that it came across very structured and formal. After seeking feedback from viewers on how to improve, I have adapted some of the behind the scenes work and preparation to help me deliver the standard of interview I'm aspiring to achieve. Since then, I've received more frequent verbal feedback in response to my impressive handling of interviews. Overall, engaging with viewers and taking on board all of this incoming feedback has resulted in a massive improvement in my work to date, both from my own perspective and that of my audience.